If you want to know what type of shelter you can build with just a tarp and a knife, then stay tuned. So today I want to show you how you can build a diamond shelter. And we're not going to be using any paracord or stakes. That's why you need a knife so you can make your own stakes. So let's start. So the important thing with a diamond shelter is that you use a square tarp. That's why I'm going to be using my 3x3 three three meter tarp by DD Hammocks. The reason why you need a square tarp is because you're going to be pulling the tarp diagonally from the tree and if you don't have a square tarp the sides are going to be uneven and you can't stake it down as nice. Now before we hang the tarp I'm going to prepare the stakes. So I've prepared my stakes. What I didn't mention before is you're going to need at least three stakes. I'd recommend five to seven so you can really stake down those sides. Now we're going to start by hanging up the tarp. So you grab one corner, it doesn't really matter which one, and then you take a piece of broken off branch here that is sticking out from the tree and you hang your tile point over that branch. Now it doesn't fit the tile point, it's a little bit small, so I'm going to take my knife and uh, try to get this branch a little bit smaller here. Good, I took some wood off here. And I can get my tile point on there, right down to the tree. So that's going to hold pretty good, it's pretty solid. I had a couple of microphone issues, so I have to re-record this part at home. Now you have your first corner up against the tree. Now the uh, next step you do is you take the corner opposite from that one, and you stake that one down to the ground, and uh, try to get enough tension on there, and really get that stake good into the ground there, because it's pretty soft ground usually. And then it doesn't matter which corner you take next, just stake out the next corner. Here also you get enough tension on there. Grab a couple of stakes, go to the other side and you do the same thing over there. Really stake it down, get it in the ground good. And then you take the other two stakes that you have left over for each side and you stake down the rest of the tile points so you don't get any draft going underneath your shelter. I do the same thing on this side, stake down the two tile points that are still left over, get them in there pretty good and your shelter's up. That's it. So this is the diamond shelter from inside. As you can see, a lot of room. I mean, I'm 190. I can lie down flat. I got a lot of headroom, a lot of foot room. You can put your gear on the sides. There's enough room for two. You can have a little cook spot here. I mean, I will make a fire or else you're gonna get a nice big hole in your tarp here. But if you're just cooking on a little gas cooker or something, you can have it right here. You have a great view. I mean, right now I'm just looking at a bunch of trees, but if you'd have an open forest, you'd have a great view. So it's a great shelter and I could recommend it to everybody.
So this is your diamond shelter setup. Quick and easy, a lot of room, open view, and done with just a tarp and a knife. Let me know in the comments section what bushcraft shelter you prefer. If you got any value out of this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.